Welcome back, Wolfpack Vrillis here. Today we're taking a trip from Kalos to Hoenn, and we're bringing Florgus with us. Man, this Pokemon got some ridiculous buffs as well in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Like, this is kind of crazy. Synthesis, no longer reliant on Wish. Now, you do get less sustain from it with lower with lower uh, PP, but overall, this Pokemon has been is infamous in the late game. That if your opponent only has special attackers left, game's over right there. Just ends immediately pretty much even if they don't have the strongest physical attackers or any way of statting up Florgus can give your opponent a really hard time and now it just gets worse that synthesis immediate sustain oh no it gets Drigid giga drain now it has even more sustain and damage and coverage potential magic coat is also going to bounce back non-damaging moves not going to be like the most common thing not going to be the most popular but still a very interesting thing because uh, Florgus can get a good amount of hit points, gets an absurd amount of special defense, and it's going to be pretty niche, like on Superior. Sometimes you can see that magic code on Superior and it will do crazy things. And then there's Helping Hand. Now Florgus is pretty much supposed to be like a doubles crazy Pokemon. That with the hidden ability Symbiosis, that whenever the ally uses up their item, it passes the, ally the item over. Following that up with a Helping Hand can only mean good things. Like you can see this with White Herb combos, Normal Gym combos, something that's guaranteed to absorb the opponent's item. And then Florgus is like, oh, here you go, by the way, another, another really cool and awesome thing that you can use for yourself. And it just gives you a lot of power and a lot of options from there. So... I'm not really specific on like what kind of uh, item passing combos Florgus is capable of. It's just something that you know you can hand off a leftover, you can hand off other berries. You can really just kind of give that support that your opponent might need. That you know I've seen Assault Vest get passed over into a Pokemon after setting up or something, and it can do some really cool things. So from there, we just look at Singles Florgus. Fling Singles Florgus really just destroys everything. That you can run it bold nature. Max out those hit points. Special defense is so high it doesn't matter, and going for Calm Mind. That if your opponent has special attackers, you just out Calm Mind them, and then you sweep them from there. That I'm actually considering Florgus now pretty hard because of what it does. Now, the main problem is in singles, it effectively doesn't have an ability, but now that it has Giga Drain, this Pokemon's made of sustain. Leftovers, going to give it health. Synthesis, going to give it health. Giga Drain, if you have two or three Calm Minds and you're hitting neutral on this, you're going to be getting a great amount of health back and you might just save you from a Synthesis or two. And then Moonblast, huge stab coverage, 95 base power. Not a lot of moves have 95 base power anymore. They all got nerfed down to 90. It's just a little extra damage, huge amount of stab. Or depending on how you want to draw it out, you know, some people, they'll throw out the Toxic. Toxic is going to be an interesting thing like steel types do do a lot of damage to you that's why you just build a lot of fire a lot of ground on your team try to counter out steel type pokemon bring in bring in florgus when all their threats are gone and then you just say oh, i've established my win condition it's over and you can essentially do that uh toxic going to be a little more reliable on damage for some people like they just like the burn behind the calm mind idea i just like the moon blast going to mention it though because you see a lot of toxic on normally it's like moon blast toxic with giga drain the extra extra sustain is something you can't really pass up now, also, this is kind of like a normal strategy guide at the same time, because Florgus is one of these really cool Pokemon that it's made as a non-grass-type Pokemon to heavy support grass Pokemon. Prevents lowering of allies' grass-type Pokemon stats. Also gets Flower Shield, raises defensive grass-type Pokemon by one, and Grassy Terrain makes, uh, ground, or makes their grass move stronger and restores their hit points. So in doubles, you can kind of run the same set, or you can go for like a huge special defense Pokemon. And I was thinking Forest Curse, that Trevenant, Grass-type Pokemon makes Florgus Grass-type, uh, Flower Shield, Grassy Terrain, all going to affect Florgus. Now it gets a boost to its defense, now it's gaining health, now it can't have its stats lowered, and then it can set up Calm Mind into Giga Drain. Um, since you're in da doubles, maybe you're not too worried, you can also go with Dazzling Gleam. Hits both of the opponents, which isn't bad at all. And since you're already getting a lot of sustain potential, maybe a Citrus Berry, Leftovers, Heal Pulse, something could work out in your favor. I don't know. Like, Florgus is just one of those crazy Pokemon that you can put next to a Grass-type Pokemon, or you can just have it heavy support as a Grass-type Pokemon. I've never seen the combo work out, just something, just some really fun theory crafting to mention. And again, depending on how you're supporting Grass-type Pokemon or Symbiosis, Helping Hand in doubles works out really nice. And then just some other things, you know, Sunny Day into Grassy Terrain works really well. That you're tanky enough, you can set up a Sunny Day. You might even be able to get a Grassy Terrain on top of that, have a Chlorophyll Pokemon, and Flower Veil is just going to make them stronger, or Symbiosis to really capitalize on their strengths. So that's what I have for Florgus, you know. It's single set. I used to see a lot of Florgus, and then started dropping off, but now it's single set got even stronger with the addition of Synthesis and Giga Drain that, you know, Wish 
Wish Protect, that takes up two moves just for one sustain. Now you get your Synthesis. Now you have, like, the on-demand heal. You can play into it with Calm Mind. As long as you get the physical... Like, you can maybe set up a Singles Reflect, help set up, or you just remove all of your opponent's physical threats, and then Florgus will win the game for you just like that. Um, you can get Toxic Stalled, but if you can p play it right with Calm Mind and Synthesis, then go into Giga Drain Moonblast, you should be able to out-sustain the Toxic and just finish off your opponents from there, depending on how the sta state of the battle looks. So overall, Florgus awesome like just huge seal of approval right now with omega ruby not sapphire because it got better in doubles better in singles overall better pokemon might see more of it so if you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you all have a nice day